what's up uh, this is uh, one of your admins Tom Evil Acres <clears throat> I ain't really been doing a whole lot in here so I figured uh, I would do an old school review of a figure from 2000 maybe I don't know I uh I'd be lying to you if I said I was positive, but I'm pretty sure it came out in 2000. Because I remember seeing it, and check this out, this is going to show my age. In, what is that called? Oh, Wizard. Y'all remember that Wizard magazine? Where it would be like, show a bunch of comic books and figures and shit. And at the very end, it had a price guy that was always wrong. It would always tell you that, like, <clears throat> like it had the Death of Superman comic. When that shit came out, it said it was worth, like, hundreds of dollars. And you can pull that shit out of any 50-cent bin across the nation. Yeah, that shit sucked. But, uh, I guess I'll, I'll start with uh, a segue into the unboxing. Yeah. I was, uh... Never a big fan of the TV show Buffy the Vampire Slayer at all, really. But uh, I guess this is kind of a love story, man. Is that? <laughs> but I met a girl, and she uh, insisted I watch. Oh, what up? What up, fellas? That I watch it. <clears throat> and uh she sat and watched like the first i don't know three or four episodes with me and i still wasn't in but then faith arrived and then i was balls deep in buffy well that uh <laughs> i guess technically but it still came out weird but anyway uh <clears throat> so uh when I saw this figure, this old school vintage figure, I was just like, man, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and get this, dude, because, I don't know, kind of, I guess, for her in a way. But really, it's in my case, you know what I'm saying? So it's mine. But yeah, now I'm a big freaking Buffy fan. You know, if I wasn't an alpha nerd, I would totally probably be embarrassed about that shit. But... Yeah, I even got, uh, where is it? There it is. The Chosen One Axe tattooed on my arm. Crazy person. You ain't never seen Buffy? Aw, oh, man, you should check it out. I'll tell you what, though, I ain't bullshit when I said it starts out slow. It starts out slow. I guess it's a dip for me, man. But I've always been a fan of the bad guy, you know? So I really didn't get, you know, jump on board until Faith showed up. She's the real Slayer, in my opinion. Buffy was an entitled brat. But anyway, <clears throat> here... Ooh, damn. Slide across glass don't sound good. Here's the dude I'm going to be reviewing. The gentleman from uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I, damn, I can't remember the episode. I mean, it doesn't much matter. But yeah, man, check him out. Let's we'll start with the, the crap he comes with. He comes with this dope little glass jar with a heart in it. Pretty cool. I want to open it really badly, but I'm not sure. Oh, it does open. How about that? Oh, dude, this is pretty gnarly. You can take the heart out of the jar. It's got all the valves and stuff. Pretty neat. Little jar, not that exciting. Hey, you learned something new. I didn't even know you could open this, dude. <clears throat> and uh, this here puzzle box or what have you. Yeah, it's really not a bad looking figure for 2000, you know? It's uh, definitely not what we get now as you can see when 
again in a little closer on the details <clears throat> it comes with this little leather bag this little doctor bag or whatever i don't know briefcase what do you call this purse if you ask me it looks like a damn purse but i wouldn't tell the gentleman that it's all real leather and metal it's pretty neat man for a purse and uh he has his little scalpel which is also metal pretty detailed really and i'm using my phone because i don't have my camera and stuff hooked up so it's going to be crappy i know little scalpel thingy and a little bottle of i don't know holy water maybe I don't, man, like I said, I, ain't, I don't remember the dang episode, really. So if any of y'all can remember the name of the episode and what in the blue hell is in this bottle, you could uh, refresh my memory. <clears throat> I'll take him off the stand to make this easier. His stand is, uh, is whack, really. It's, I mean, oh, hold on, there's a date. Oh shit, I was right, 2000, how about that, but yeah, the stand ain't very cool, man, you know, it's just, this old school basic, basic stuff here, man, but here's the dude, <clears throat> there's absolutely, <laughs> that's awesome, check this out, his arms, dude, are not even the same color as his hands and his face. That's the detail you got in the year 2000 from Sideshow. They didn't even paint the arms, dude. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm scared to unbutton the coat, dude, because it's so old. The articulation on it, man, is really... Not bad for 2000. I mean, it's basically a, a, a Barbie doll, man. Look, white ass. Look, the legs don't match either, man. But he does have some socks on. That was nice of him to actually put some socks on, dude, man. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. I'm going to try to unbutton this coat and see what's going on under here. I'm scared. I did it. All right, his tie was all wadded up under here. Oh, look at that. Bro, I ain't got no sleeves, man. He's redneck up under here. <laughs> I like the gentleman's style, man. He ain't bush, he's like, I don't need no sleeves. So we're gonna go ahead and keep these arms and stuff pulled down because man he's supposed to be gray here's a good look at his face you know like i said for year 2000 man it's really not not that bad you can see like gross ass can you see that or is the light too shitty He's got gross ass varicose veins and shit on the back of his head. He's got the pocket square, which you know that that's pretty dope pocket square. But yeah, for year two thousand, that's a pretty nice face, man. Ooh, loose. Did you see that? Eek. Loose ass leg. His teeth are gnarly. I mean, he's creepy, dude. Straight up creepy. Let me see if I can button him back up again without breaking him. Good thing I unbuttoned him, though, man, because look at his tie. His tie was all wadded up in there and janky. The tie is not very good. It's basically made out of, like, you know them ribbon that your mom put on the Christmas presents back in the day? That ribbon that you can put the scissors under and pull it and zip it and it fucking curl up. You know what I'm talking about? That's what basically what the tie is made out of. 
So, I mean, man, <clears throat> after looking at this, and I go pull out, you know, a, a modern sideshow out of my case, you can tell that they have freaking, I mean, sideshow is leaps and bounds better than it was, man. But for 2000 you know, that's pretty legit. And if I, I want to, I don't remember correctly, but I want to say that, what did they run back then? They were about a hundred bucks, yeah? Maybe? I don't know. I don't remember. I'd have to dig out an old wizard or something. I didn't prep for this video very well. I should, I got lucky knowing what year this came out. But yeah, man, that's him. The gentleman. I think, let's try to, Let's try to accessorize this fool real quick. Oh, he holds the scalpel. Check him out. What up? He can use his scalpel to curl his tie up like the damn Christmas present. <laughs> Where does purse go? Let's see if we can get his purse up right here. We'll put the juice. Whatever, holy water, juice back up in there close it up nice and tight dang he is loose though man it's uh they're much better quality now that's for sure but yeah dude holds the scalpel like a a proper gentleman he's got his purse and that's him, man. That's it. I ain't gonna bore you for, you know, ever. Just thought I'd introduce myself. Your admin, Tom, the Evil Acres. Maybe I'll do another old school review again sometime. I just kind of want to do a, let myself be known up in here. If y'all got any questions, concerns, don't holler at me, holler at one of the other admins, man. Let your geek side show.